Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to look at a two axis wire job. So to begin with, I have uh, some geometry from an imported file. I'm gonna create a new layer, select this group of geometry, and then move it over to this new layer. And then that way I can just turn it off so I'm not looking at it. Okay, so from here what I want to do is set up a wire job now there's a bunch of machines that you can choose from I'm just gonna pick, uh, pick a Fanuc 16W I'm gonna run my uh, stock wizard it's gonna pick up the minimum maximum of the part automatically you could make adjustments to the height as necessary and then from here I'm gonna set where my zero is so I'm gonna put my zero at bottom center of the part and I'll choose OK all right at this point I've set up my stock which is really just used for simulation and I've set my zero which is the origin of the part or the the work offset or the G92 okay from here I want to do a two axis inside cut I'm gonna go to select geometry hold down shift left click on this profile it's gonna highlight all the way around I'm gonna hit my space bar to lock in my selection and then choose next on this example, I want to use a land and taper. I'm going to set my taper angle at one and a half degrees, and then you can adjust the land height as necessary. Now you can change whether the land is on top or bottom. All right. So from here, I also want to look at uh, glue stops. So I want to use uh, use a glue stop with leads, and then I'll advance through here. Uh, I'm going to have a rough cut. Then I'm going to do a tab cut, and then I'm going to do a skim cut. I could add multiple skims if I wanted, but this will be good for this example. All right, a couple of other settings. This has to do with cutting conditions. All of this is fine at this point. Everything else here is fine. Sorting is fine. Compensation. Really, everything that we have going on here is fine. Uh, the one thing I may look at is where I lead in and lead out from but for now I'm just gonna click through here and really just compute my results alright uh, now I wanna just blank out my tw uh, my stock so I can see what's going on and then from here we can see our toolpath so in green is our toolpath and you can see how we have our land and taper if I go to a front view you can see we have our land and then we have our taper all right, so now I kind of want to look at uh, where I'm going to start cutting from. A couple of other things, you know, as far as like what direction we might be cutting in or where our start point is. So I got to feed the wire somewhere. Generally speaking, I would have drilled a hole or there'd be some hole for me to start from. So I'm just going to uh, sketch, a, sketch a hole. And I'm going to say, let's say this is my hole location. All right. So now... When I come through here, I want the wire to start in this hole and then come into the profile. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put a point at the arc center. All right, and then we're gonna go back into our feature. We're gonna look at our rough cut and then our leads. Okay, so from here you have a bunch of different options. I'm gonna do a point blend and then I'm gonna pick my point here and then I'll pick that point in the center of this hole, space bar. Now I'm using the same point to come in and out. And then I'll go ahead and compute that. And you can see now that uh, I'm gonna start in this hole. I'm gonna go around the part. I'm gonna leave my tab. Uh, after the tab is done, then I'm gonna uh, come in, you know, fixture the part, cut the tab off, and then I can continue on from there. Now you have, um, you know, a, a different options for lead in and lead out as far as the radius size and what have you. But for this example, that will look pretty good. Now, I want to get an idea of how this is going to run on the machine. So I'm going to launch simulation. Simulation is going to come up. And you have some options in here. One of the options that you have is this one right here, machine housing. When we turn that on, that's where we'll see the, the wire guides. Okay. Now, as far as running this through, we can press play and you can see it will run through. The other thing too is you have um, an operation list. So if I advance through the first operation, it will catch up with the simulation and then it will show you where the model is at this point, okay? So if I wanna 
remove this stock here so I can see I mean you have some viewing options as far as transparency so you can see what the cut looks like um, but you also have a viewing option to remove chips select chips so we can click this and then using your center mouse wheel we can click on the stock in the center and now you'll see that goes away all right so then from here we can see that that is our our rough cut so we have our rough cut and there should be a a tab there to uh, leave some material so that it doesn't uh, drop all the way free then uh, from there we're gonna run let's go back to our NC list here we're gonna run our tab cut so we'll slow this down and you can see that will cut off the tab and then it will go into the final pass now you can see we did our taper cut and then it looks like we're coming back and doing the land now and you can make adjustments again whether it's top or bottom or what have you this is just a quick run through of how this works once we get through if we're if we're happy with our simulation at this point I mean we can always go back and make changes to how we program the part uh, but if we're happy with our simulation and, and the, our operations the way that they're set up we can come over to the wire job here and we can choose post so this is a I'm sorry right click on your wire job and then left click on post and then you'll get a preview of the post um, this post processor I have set up in debug mode right now so there's uh, additional codes that are telling me where the uh, what blocks of the program these codes are coming from if if I come in and edit this post processor this is a Finux 16 I can just edit this in notepad let me cancel that cancel that here this is the actual post processor itself if I come down to block number 22 and I turn debug off and save this and then post up my code now you can see the debug is turned off so this is the code as far as what's going on in the code you know from there you can see all you know my M codes the stop for the tab and whatnot uh, if you guys uh, this is just a quick run through if you guys have any questions comments or feedback please reply back to the Facebook the YouTube or whatever thread this video may be posted in otherwise we'll see you in the next one thank you so much